everybody, it's your girl Louise and welcome back to Louise Find It. Today I am back with another video and I'm also back with another story time. So this story time is pretty juicy. It's about my first open relationship and y'all gonna understand why I put the quotations around it in a minute. I just want to give a disclaimer. This relationship has been done and also she ain't okay <laughs> bleak she ain't i'm gonna just jump right into it let me know if y'all like shorter videos or longer videos for me um some things i try to speed up like the painting video i did last video if you didn't check that out go ahead and check it out but some things i try to speed up for y'all just to keep the attention and you know i know some things are repetitive especially like in a drawing or painting video but some story times it's hard to like speed it up or cut it down because some information is vital but I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet and to the point but not too short where y'all don't feel like y'all got the tea so <laughs> um I'm gonna just start off by saying that this particular relationship was super toxic so anyways um it was kind of like how we met it was like, you know, when you be peeping somebody for a long time and then like they talk to you and then you're like, I've been peeped you, like I've been doing this, is about to happen. So it happened and like, I guess from wanting it to happen for so long and all that, you kind of ignore the red flags, you kind of just like on cloud nine with it and then sooner or later, it's hard to ignore. So during this time that we I, together i had experienced a major loss within my family my father had passed away so i also kind of attached myself to this person because of that sense of grief and the fact that they were kind of there for me when it happened you know so that's another disclaimer so move her in everything's peachy keen for as much as a toxic relationship can be and one day she just asked me like hey i want an open relationship would you be down for that right so in my mind i'm like i don't share um i'm not poly or whatever i didn't even know about poly and Mary by this time around but i was just kind of like i don't share like that i don't invite people into my relationship like if, if people are being invited to the relationship then y'all should be in a relationship that was kind of my mindset and i know there's like different strokes for different folks but I feel like as long as somebody is aware everybody agrees and you know all that then it's fine and dandy for you whatever floats for your relationship was with floats for your relationship but at that time this was super foreign to me so I was a people pleaser back then I'm not gonna say I'm not right now but like back then I was kind of like really a people pleaser I guess so I was like I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. Like, um, I'll think about it. That's exactly what I said. I was like, I don't know how I feel about it. I'll think about it, right? So she's like, okay, cool, whatever. That's good enough for her. It wasn't a no. It wasn't a yes. It was like in between. So she felt good about that. So I was hoping that we would kind of put a bookmark in it for months or years down the line kind of shit. Like I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't come up again or if I didn't like you know give a final answer that she would just kind of drop it and take the hit but that's not what happened <laughs> so um one day i believe she lost her house key so this is why this situation even happened so she lost her house key to my house so after that it was only one house key and then my brother and his girlfriend had house keys too but they weren't willing to like make a copy of theirs or whatever and i didn't have time to make a copy of mine because i was always in work so this one particular day she was she had a busy schedule i'm thinking it's like job interviews stuff like that like you're about to do what you gotta do type stuff because her job it just let her go so um she asked me can i leave my key in the mailbox for her and like um she'll be home before i get off work because i got off work that night so she was gonna be home before i got off work so she was gonna be able to open the door all that because my brother and his girlfriend were not going to be home so I'm like, okay, whatever, cool. I leave my key, I go about my work thing. And when I come back, lo and behold, nobody's home yet, which I already wasn't aware nobody was gonna be home but her, but she's not even home yet. My door is locked and I'm like, okay, whatever. And the key is still not in there, right? So I'm calling, I'm calling, 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 call her a couple of times, she's not answering. I'm like, what the hell? Like, where are you? interviews 
things don't last this long. <laughs> like, what's going on? But I didn't even think what was going on was not even in my thought process. It wasn't even something that I could come up with that this was really freaking happening to me. You know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't get to that. So I'm calling her. She's not answering. I think I called about four, four or five times. So then I called my brother and his girlfriend. They're like gonna be home at a certain time but they're not like rushing but once they figure out that i'm like kind of stranded or whatever they're like you know kind of pick doing whatever they have to do to get home faster i forgot what they were doing so my ass <laughs> i live next door to my best friend like so i just kind of go over there and i'm like hey can i chill in your room for a bit until somebody comes because i'm not about to stand outside at night, <laughs> you know, just outside my house waiting for somebody to come. I'm, a, I'm standing outside my house to wait to get into my house. Like, how bad and insane is that anyway? So, I go to her house, and of course, she lets me come. We're chilling in her room, but I can't even chill because I'm so mad. Like, I'm so livid, y'all. So, I'm so mad. She's, like, playing video games. We're watching TV. She's talking to me, stuff like that. And my brother and his girlfriend finally pull up. Still, this girl that I'm waiting on with my key is still nowhere to be found, okay? So they pull up, I see them coming or whatever, because like I said, the houses are right next to each other. So I see them coming, so I leave her house, I'm like, thanks for letting me chill here, and then I go about my business. So the uncles are like, in my ear, like, what the heck, like, what is she doing, blah, 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 who does that, da, 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 you know, all that stuff. It passes, I made like an hour pass. Now I'm getting impatient. Like, I'm inside, I'm in my room, but I'm, like, really living. And I'm like, why aren't you picking up the phone? And then two hours pass, and I believe three hours. Three hours. Three hours pass. And this girl finally comes in the house, okay? So I just hear a jiggle, and she comes. She's laughing. She's talking. And I'm wondering, is she on the phone? Like, what's going on? Bruh. I leave my room, I leave our room, really. <laughs> and I see her walking, laughing, talking. She looks at me, but she don't really say nothing, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, about to say something, and then I see somebody trailing behind her, laughing and talking to her. I'm like, who is this? Y'all. There was a white woman in my house. There was a white woman in my house. <laughs> Trailing behind my then girlfriend. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> and you know how people put you in a situation where it's like, you, they know how you are. So, like, you might be mad. Like, I'm just, I have home training. So, my thing is, I know how some studs aren't shit, right? So, I'm not going to go nuts. Like, I'm not the type to really just go nuts and not ask questions. Obviously, her actions were super suspicious, and I did trust her at that point. But this girl, I don't know what she knows, what she doesn't know, what she thinks she's walking into, and what she thinks she's not walking into. Because if she knew what she was walking into, she wouldn't have been laughing, jolly, and all that. They would have tried to, you know, do it kind of inconspicuous, kind of silently, kind of whatever. So I was under the impression the girl really didn't know who I was. Like, she probably knew that I was going to be there, but she didn't know me. She didn't know who I was. She didn't know my title, and I just felt like it was a lot of BS. We were fed a lot of BS, me and her, and this person was the BS. -er. So I wasn't gonna turn up on this girl. I wasn't about to pounce on this girl. I wasn't about to act like a ratchet person with this girl. But was I about to make it known that <laughs> she should be looking at her sideways too? Yes, I was. So we had three rooms in the house that I was staying in, right? And they decide to go to this room. Obviously, you're not about to bring her over there because if she went to the room that we stayed in, she would realize that whatever story you did fed her is not the truth, right? So she brought it to this room, which to the room that uh, 
I think it was like my brother old room before he moved into the next room or whatever that he moved there. Three bedroom house. So she brought her to this room that my brother was no longer staying in but still had a bed, still had all this. And they're chilling, they're listening to music and stuff like that. Oh yeah, mind you, this girl that I was dating, she was very alternative, um, heavy metal, all black type stuff. And that's how I used to dress, that's what I used to listen to. So when I found another black girl who did these things, like she was skateboarding and stuff like that. When I found another black girl who did all these things, I was kind of like, yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? Like I was very attracted to it. So when she brought a white girl in here, I wasn't, I wasn't really, like shook that she brought a white girl in here because it's like rare to find, not rare, I don't, I don't want to say the wrong thing, but it's like how I saw her like, oh, this is rare for me to find another black girl who likes this music, who does these things. That's kind of how she was with me. So I feel like mostly what she saw, I was white women, you know what I'm saying? So when she came with a white girl, I was just like, oh, that's your type type stuff, you know, which is. And which was kind of like also annoying to me that this is happening so they're in this room and I'm like my brother and me are talking and he's like mad for me you know what I'm saying he's pissed off for me he's like what you want to do we could kick them out in the streets at this point like I could have just packed her stuff and put it outside right like I could have but I did <laughs> I didn't y'all I don't know why like I was so nice I'm still nice to this day, but like that was dumb nice, you know what I'm saying? So like they're in the room, they're chilling, they're listening to music. I can hear the music through the wall to the next room that I'm in. So I start blasting music on my laptop. Like I'm blasting all these sad songs. I'm blasting Wrecking Ball, my Miley Cyrus. I'm in the room. Like, I came in like a rainbow. I never hit so hard. And like they're starting to get like uncomfortable they're starting to hear me and stuff like I kind of keep going in and out of the room and stuff like I'm not really leaving her alone you know what I'm saying and then like she finally comes talk to me for like a little bit and she's like you know I thought you were thinking about this open relationship thing I thought like you were cool with this stuff whatever I'm like how you go from you thought I was thinking about it to I was cool with it when I never confirmed that this could happen right so that was annoying to me and it was like her way of like, I, I kind of got your permission. I mean, kind of technically got your permission. I really, but I mean, kind of, right? Kind of. You say you was talking about, thinking about it, so I think we should just, we should just try it. I was just taking the plunge for you. That's how she, that's the type of time she was on, right? She was taking the plunge for me. She was making me more comfortable with this situation. So now I'm aware that you did bring this girl to cheat. Because that's what it is. Ain't nobody gave me permission to do nothing. So, yeah, I'm aware you brought this girl into cheat. I mean, I was super aware of it before, but, like, obviously, I was getting on their nerves so much and um, disturbing them so much that she had to go ahead and talk to me and stop acting like nothing. It just ignored the hell out of me. So, she also convinces me that the girl knew and all this stuff. And, you know, they just thought I would be comfortable and all this stuff. So I'm just like, this is BS. Like, and when I tell you nobody was letting them do nothing, like my brother was coming up in here, I was coming up in here. Everybody, like, girl, come on now. Come on now. So the girl ends up leaving. The next day comes, and she's like sleep or whatever. And she ends up sleeping on the couch because I'm living, living, right? But her stupid butt. <laughs> I'm saying but y'all because I don't want to keep cursing but a stupid but leaves her phone on the dresser on my dresser right so her phone's in the in the, the room I'm staying in and she's on the couch too so I go I look at the phone God told me to look at that phone and the girl was like who was that girl like what's going on she was like oh that's my sister that's um that's my sister I let her stay with me what me and my brother look completely alike right like he's like the boy version of me I, yeah <laughs> he's the boy version of me so obviously that already didn't make sense because if me and him i'm I, why is there this random guy who looks exactly like your sister but you're not claiming him you're not even addressing that so she should have known that was bs from jump and then there's hit the girlfriend my brother's girlfriend which didn't explain anything so she was like that that i'm her sister 
and that she was letting me stay with her. I'm letting you stay in my crib. <laughs> what? So I'm reading all this and I'm like, girl, uh-uh. And they're like playing in the meet. The girl takes the bait. I think she just wanted to be with her. I don't think she I don't think she believed it for two seconds. If she did, she's pretty stupid. But um, yeah, she takes the bait. She's like, well, we don't see each other. I think they were planning on seeing each other that day or whatever. And I just let her ride. I didn't say anything. So um, she wakes up, we go outside and we start talking or whatever. And I'm like, I never said I was cool with that, but whatever, blah, blah. And she just like, you know, um, she don't think she can do a regular relationship. Like it got to be open or nothing or whatever. So we really don't talk or nothing, but we didn't break up, right? So I'm on a revenge kick because in my eyes, you're about to go cheat with this girl. Anyway, I didn't read the text. You're not aware that I read the text, but you're about to go cheat with this girl and do whatever with this girl. So I hit up one of my exes. I sure do. I hit up one of my exes and I'm like, you know what? I want to see if I can do this hookup thing with no feelings attached. That's what I want to see if I can really do this. And if I can, let's, let's, let's have it out. Let's just see how long this lasts before we deal with each other and break up. So I hit up my ex or whatever and she's ready. <laughs> she ready. She like, you know, I'm about to come through. What do you want me to come through? like come through tomorrow the love is she at work yeah yeah stuff like that because even if we're in agreement of this over relationship supposedly the one i never i still never agree to about it even if we're in agreement of it i'm never gonna bring a girl while you're there because that's so disrespectful whether you agree to something or not why like why do you want to see what's going on why, you know what i'm saying some people don't have no class about themselves so like I scheduled a, a appointment when she wasn't there. So she came, we sitting on my bed watching Between Women and I'm like kind of low key scared or high key scared. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I was planning on chickening out kind of thing, but that didn't work. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna say I need a lot of convincing to do what I wanted to do because it was like, I was mad. I, I felt lied to, my ex wasn't ugly. So I just did what I did and did what I do and had what I had. <laughs> so, oh my God. I hope y'all don't think I'm horrible, but come on now, you can't be trying to play somebody and then think ain't nothing about to happen to you. So I'm like, you know, I should deliver this news to her because I didn't just do it and trying to keep it from your baby. I want you to know how it feels because I know you've been out, out there all day seeing how it feels right so we both were seeing how it felt okay so i was like yeah i'm about to tell her the next day like bam i could do it too oh yeah i could i could do it without feelings y'all so that was my i wanted to experience it and see if i could and i could it's possible i don't like it that much but it's possible to do that without having feelings and it still feel good you know what i'm saying but that's not my preferred way of doing things <laughs> right so the next day we outside i told her i read her messages i told her i know what she did i don't even want to know what she did for real like the details of it. and then i just break it down like yeah i tried i tried yesterday though she like tried what I'm like the open relationship but you know, yesterday you know and i was like so you're right like it don't always have to be feelings with you know sex and stuff and her face just drops like uh-uh like she was tripping the whole week about it she was like she knows she being selfish for tripping like this because yeah she did what she wanted to do but she was just tripping and so the next week she was like you know she is off the table she don't want to be over relationships and stuff like that i believed her and you know it wasn't enough for me to cut the ex off because like i said i really it was like a vengeful hookup and it was like an experiment to see if I could, right? <laughs> so I wasn't tripping about like cutting that off and not doing it again. But y'all, you know, obviously we're not together. And obviously, it stuff kept happening. So this wasn't the first, then it wasn't the last hiccup we had. But it was one of those things where I saw people be requesting stuff and they want this and that. But once you do it, it's a whole different ball game. It's a whole different story. Like they cannot take 
what they dish or whatever. So that's my story time, y'all. I hope it wasn't too all over the place. If I'm listening a little bit, it's hot. I don't have the air conditioner on, but I do have a fan on. So if you hear that, that's what it is. But I don't have it on me because I don't want my hair to do all kinds of crazy stuff. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I tried to sum it up as quick as I could. <laughs> Yeah, I hope y'all not judging me too much, but I was childish back then, and if you did, do all to others that you want them to do all to you, okay? And she wasn't doing right, so I didn't do right, and that's, that's that on that. But if you like this video, make sure you click that thumbs up button, subscribe, y'all. And to everybody who has subscribed, thank you so much. I appreciate all the love and the support. Um... Yeah, and no matter how crowded the spot gets, there's always room for more. There's always room for more. No matter how crowded the spot gets, there's always room for more. But yeah, y'all, I'm out. I'm about to go back into my air-conditioned paradise. And I'll see y'all next time.